Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to build a gripper for the AR4 MK3 robotic arm using a servo motor. We'll go through the required parts and the step-by-step -step assembly process until the gripper is fully functional. Let's get started. These are the parts needed to assemble a gripper for the AR4 MK3 robotic arm. The 3D printed components are made from ABS. Make sure to tap threads into the necessary holes for the screws. I'm using a 25 kg servo motor, and a 3 mm stainless steel shaft as a guide for the gripper movement. Make sure the gripper can move smoothly along the shaft for optimal performance. The first step is to mount the servo motor onto the base assembly part. Use four screws to secure it firmly. Make sure the servo is properly aligned and tightly fastened to ensure stable movement during operation. Next, insert the short shaft, 16.5 mm in length into the center hole of the 3D printed carriage. This shaft will serve as the rotation axis for the gear. Apply a small amount of super glue to the end of the shaft to secure it in place. Attach the carriage to the base assembly part using six screws. Make sure all screws are tightened evenly to keep the carriage stable and properly aligned. Next, install the gear onto the center post and make sure it spins freely. Then, attach the center bar and secure it with screws. Make sure the center bar is properly installed and that the gear can still rotate smoothly without any obstruction. Next, install jaw 1 and jaw 2 onto the gear, positioning the gripper in the open state. Make sure the jaws slide easily without any resistance. To ensure the gripper opens and closes properly, Manually move one of the jaws and check that both jaws move smoothly and evenly. Next, insert the 70mm shaft through the carriage and the holes in the jaws. Make sure the jaws can move easily along the shaft. To achieve this, you may need to drill the holes on each jaw carefully. Check that each jaw moves smoothly, and be prepared to make adjustments as needed to ensure smooth operation. You can use super glue on each end of the shaft to keep it securely in place and prevent any movement. Next, I use a servo tester to check the gripper's movement. Start by positioning the servo motor at zero degrees, with the gripper fully closed. Then, install the servo armature securely onto the servo horn. Make sure it's properly aligned to avoid any binding during movement. After that, we can test the gripper's opening and closing using the servo tester, observing its smoothness and responsiveness. That's it for the gripper assembly. With these steps, you can build a functional and efficient gripper for your robotic projects now. This gripper is ready to be installed on the AR4 MK3 robotic arm. I hope this video helps you with your own projects. If you found it useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials and updates. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.